today's video is going to be a quick tutorial and here are the colors used. This is a 11 by 14 canvas and I'm just going to do a flip cup. Now I just layered all the colors in from dark to light and I did not use black inside the cup just so you guys know. The black will actually come later. But I don't do a flip cup very often, but decided to do one. Sometimes you just get the most interesting effects. I just love <laughs> the way the flip cup looks right when it comes out onto the canvas. It's so pretty. And that purple flash mixed with the ultramarine blue just made the most beautiful uh, color pattern. And I added some extra colors around the edges knowing that I probably will not have quite enough paint on this canvas. Um, what was a surprise in this one was the satin enamel mixing with the gold. I used a champagne gold and a regular gold and the bronze and it just left the most beautiful pattern on the top of this canvas. I absolutely loved it. It kind of looks like waves crashing over a sandbar if you've ever been to the ocean and seen that happen. So I don't have quite enough paint on here. I'm going to add a few little extra colors, just some teal and that purple flash just to help it get over the edge there a little bit. But I decide I don't love the bottom part of this canvas, so I'm going to do, in my mind, I think I'm going to do a swipe. So I put the colors over the top, and this one also had a little bit of Payne's Gray in it, that darker color right there. And then plastic. I decided to use some plastic to see if I could get some cool effects with all the pretty colors. I've had some good results with plastic before. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, all my paints today were mixed with Floetrol and, um, I'm sorry, Oatrol and Gluol and a little bit of water. So I didn't quite get the effects I was looking for and decided to try my little packing balloon and see if I could get some effects that way. And it was okay. Still loving the top of this piece but not loving the bottom yet. So I broke out my little balloon and thought maybe I could add some pretty accents, some pretty balloon rolls coming into that pattern up there. And so I did that. Now, at this point, I just start kind of going to town with the balloon rolls. Little few little balloon kisses right there. That's where you just press the balloon straight down and lift it straight off, those little kisses you saw. There's a lot of paint on here, so I'm really trying to get some of that off. Um, you don't want it to crack. And I just keep going and I'm not feeling, there's parts of this I love and parts I don't like. So time for something drastic and I decide to add some negative space. This is a way you can add negative space at any point during the pour. So I got the extra paint off by tilting it and then just added the black as the negative space, you could do any color. Honestly, I could have chose uh, blue or brown or gold or white. And 
And then I want to kind of incorporate those flower bottoms into the negative space just a little bit so they look like they belong, you know. And I just decided to use this little cup. Now, I am working with an artist right now who I'm going to, who I'm collaborating with. And she taught me this little technique, although she does something amazing with it. And I'm going to show you um, in our collab when I do that. But isn't it pretty? I just really ended up liking this painting a lot. Um, up close and personal, you can see there's a lot of beautiful copper coming through. Very shimmering golds. The black added a lot of depth to everything. And the satin enamel white is what's giving that beautiful cloudy effect. And I mix that with the cloud mix. It's just a 50-50 satin enamel white with artist loft white. Lots of interesting things to look at in this piece. And it just has kind of a serene quality to it. I love the, the feel of this piece. And especially that part is so pretty to me. But see how the black incorporated in and now it looks like it belongs there. And here it is dried. This is outside in full sunlight, so it's not the best photo, but it really is much more shimmery than you can see in this light. But thanks for coming along, guys. I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.